Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB 16, the show. In this series, we're going up against the Milwaukee Brewers. Our lineup for this game is Gregory Polanco, Josh Harrison, Starling Marte, Andrew McCutcheon, John Jaso, Jung Ho Gung, Francisco Cervelli, Jordy Mercer, and Ivan Nova on the mound. In the bottom of the second inning, Nova giving up a base hit. This is going to go all the way to the warning track, to the wall, and that is going to be a double to start off the inning for the Brewers. Next batter up with that runner still at second base. Another base hit. This one is into deep center field. McCutcheon is there, but he's not going to be able to catch that one. That runner from second is going all the way around to score the throw at the plate, and he is safe. The other runner is going to advance to third on that throw, so a triple for the Brewers, and they're going to take a 1-0 lead. One out in the inning, and Nova's going to get the strikeout. Nasty curveball right there. Still in the second inning. That runner at third. And a grounder to Harrison. The throw at first. Get him out. Got that runner stranded at third. Now, moving on to the top of the third. Starling Marte to check swing. He's going to get walked. That's two walks to start off the inning. That is going to bring up Andrew McCutcheon. And McCutcheon is going to send this one deep into left center field. And that is a three-run Shot and we take the lead going up three to one. That is McCutcheon's 19th home run of the season, and that was a big one right there. Now we're moving on to the bottom of the third inning. Brewers already have a runner at first, and this is a nasty hit right here down the third baseline. It started foul and drifted fair. Brewers have runners on first and second to start it off. No outs in the inning. Next batter up, a big time strikeout with the changeup low away in the zone. One out in the inning, still runners on first and second. A grounder to Harrison, to Mercer, to Jaso. Big time double play to get out of that inning. Now we're going to the top of the fourth inning. Polanco's going to hit a grounder to the second baseman. He doesn't come up with it cleanly. He's at first base. Harrison, he's going to get a base hit down the third baseline. Polanco is advancing to third. Runners on the corners. Two outs in the inning. That's going to bring up Starling Marte. He's going to hit a liner to right field. The dive, no good. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Both runners are going to come around to score. And Starling Marte advancing to third for the triple. Honestly, I don't think the Brewers needed to dive for that one. That's the type of mistake that I always make. McCutcheon next batter up a grounder to the shortstop. And he's going to get out. Now we're going to the bottom of the fourth inning. Brewers managed to get runners on first and second, but two outs were going to get out of that inning. Now we're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Chris Carter up to bat, and Chris Carter sending that one deep. That's a bomb right there. But with that, we get to see the coolest thing about this stadium, and that is this slide. The mascot having all the fun going down it, but the home run, we don't like that. That's 23 home runs for Carter. Still in the sixth inning. One out in the inning. And a grounder to Mercer. He's going to field it cleanly. The throw at first. Jaso going to drop it. Come on, man. That was in the glove. You got to catch that one. You got to secure that. Next batter up. The curveball. That's going to find the outfield. Now the Brewers have runners on first and second. They're trying to get on a little rally. Still with the runners at first and second. A base hit up the middle. The dive not in time. The throw at the plate. And that runner is safe. So now it is a 5-3 to three game. Runner still on first and second. One out in the inning. A grounder to Harrison. Mercer spinning. And the throw at first. Why did Mercer spin right there? Man, making mistakes. Runners on the corners. And another base hit from the Brewers. That's going to make it a 5-4 to four game. Too many mistakes in this inning. Runners on first and second now. The curveball to Jaso. We're finally going to get out of the inning. Gave up three runs right there. But Jaso in the top of the seventh inning. He's going to send this one deep. A two-run shot. Answering right back and making it a 7-4 to four game. Jaso, he had that error, but he kind of made up for it. I'll take the two-run shot. That's his 18th home run of the season. Now we're going on to the bottom of the seventh. Kingham into pitch, and he's going to get the strikeout. Next batter up, 
King Ham going for number two to change up in the middle. He has five strikeouts in his two innings of work. He didn't strike out the side though. Now we're going to the bottom of the eighth. We have Jameson Tyon into pitch. He got the strikeout and he's going to come away with his second strikeout. Now we're going on to the top of the ninth inning for Andrew McCutcheon. No doubt about that one. That one is out of here. A solo shot and his second home run of the game. McCutcheon doing it big right now, and that's going to make it an 8-4 game. But once again, that's his 20th home run of the season, his second of the game. Now we're going to the bottom of the ninth. Jameson Tyon still pitching, two outs in the inning, the pop-up into left field. That's going to be the out, and that's going to be the game. So we end up getting the victory, winning 8-4. Ivan Nova picks up the win. And Jameson Tyon, because he pitched two innings, he comes up with the save. But Andrew McCutcheon, player of the game, going three for five, two home runs and four RBIs. One of the better individual performances so far in this season. Starling Marte goes two for four with a triple and two RBIs. And John Jaso goes one for five with a home run and two RBIs. Now the playoff race. The Cubs decided they don't want to lose anymore. They're on a seven game win streak. We're five games back in the NL Central, but we're three and a half games up in the wild card we have three series left to try to overtake the cubs in the nl central we'll see if it happens thanks for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'm out